start off in Fortnite, pick a place with no name, okay? There are plenty of places with no name which have tons and tons of loot. Now, the reason this is so important is because not many people go to places with no names, okay? There's so many places which don't have names and people just people just don't go there. And what does that mean? It means there are less people you have to worry about when you spawn into the game, okay? When you land, there are less people to worry about, which means that the threat level is less high, which means more loot for you and a higher chance of survival. Okay, so this is one of the spots I love going to. You can also go to this hill over there, to the prison, to this, to there, to there. There, there, there are quite a lot of spots, okay? And as you can see, we jumped here and there's one guy with us. All we have to do is just take out that guy or girl. And let me just try to find a weapon real quick. Oh, yeah, you missed the shotgun. You missed the shotgun, my lady. I don't think you were supposed to do that, but uh, we'll just be, uh, we'll be helping you out over here. Okay. And there you go. They got a nice shot on us. We got a nice shot on them. But hey, I mean, you know, Fortnite, Fortnite isn't fair with the damage. But we did it, and that was all good. Anybody else over here? I don't hear anybody else, so I think we're safe. But there might be somebody who dropped in later. That, they got a good hit on us, but that's all fine, okay? There's a big chance we're gonna find bandages and, and, and shields over here. We didn't even have a shield. There you go, we actually already found a shield. And uh, now I'm not gonna use it because I kinda wanna wait for a shield pot. Uh, the, sh this, the little ones, no loot over there. Uh, we're also inside of the zone, which is good, uh, which means we have to be quick. There you go, we found the little boys. And as everybody knows, you can only take the little boys uh, before the big one. And also I decided not to take the big one because if we would have gotten into a fight, we would have died regardless because we were so low in health. So I just took the risk. I thought, why not? Why not do it? Why not risk? Get a little bit. We're gonna assault rifle over here. Uh, we just need some bandages now. Anybody? Does anybody have some bandages? Uh, another big tip I have for you cops is break everything you see, okay? Or get to know what things to break and also loot all the ammo boxes. So there are tons of things you can break in this building with just one hit, which give you anywhere from five to like eight wood. And if you do that, you can loot a place for obviously good guns and in the meantime you can get tons and tons of wood without actually breaking down trees which is what a lot of people think so you can break this one it gives one okay but it's still one hit you can break these ones and it's six and that is what you should be knowing with all these spots you're going to now we can break that one it gives us 50 it's the same as breaking a tree and here it break the upper one first and then the bottom one and once again eight and it really ends up adding up uh, to a ton and when i say a ton i really mean a ton of wood and and other things you need in this game so that's a deagle i'm not a big fan of a deagle when i'm when i have my inventory what i like to do is have two or three weapons and the rest consumables, uh, which I really, really like. Uh, and by consumables, I most of the time have one shield and one uh, uh, health uh, healer. Here again, once again, you can just break all these boxes and make sure to pick up ammo, even for little things. I mean, you never know late game. As long as it doesn't take too much time, give it a nice little check. I'm not a big fan of the scope assault rifle. And, and, and weapons-wise, you really have to find a bunch of weapons you enjoy. I like shotguns, I like assault rifles, and then the last one, an explosive one most of the time. Or a sniper rifle. I'm, I'm pretty alright with a sniper. Uh, not good, though. Not good, but I'm, I'm alright. Uh, also, know how much stuff can stack. So I know, for example, you can get 900 wood, you can get 1,000 bullets. Ooh, look at this bad boy. We can take this to full HP. And you can get 10 mini pots and, and, and things like that. It's very important to know that so you can... Uh, uh, you know have a good inventory uh, your inventory is much more important than a lot of people think like understanding your inventory is good knowing when to switch out weapons is very good and and everybody's different because everybody plays this day in this game diff oh this game differently i just accidentally pressed the wrong button which is fine i hope i don't think anybody's in this area we have so much stuff to loot over here so now we kind of get a little dilemma it's either this uh, this this sniper or a shield I'm gonna have to go with the shield because it's most likely gonna save our life. But that's once again up to you. Uh, however you play this game, uh, whatever choices you decide to make. But for me, it's just uh, 
I just, I, I just like I just like the the shield better, especially in the situation I'm in right now, where uh, I might get into a lot of fights. I'm not gonna go and check for the chest up there. Instead, I'm just gonna look down here. That's another thing. Like know where the chests spawn and just know the area. I, for example, know like almost all the things I can break over here with one hit, which give me. Uh, you know stuff which is worth my while and that's just the tactic over here i know that the same thing for a few other spots but this one's my favorite so i thought this one is the one i'll show you cups and how to win like almost every single game we got one kill we haven't encountered anybody else since then and we're playing for the win right now we're not playing for the most kills we Wait. Is that somebody over there thought i heard somebody sorry cups Turns out it's nothing, but I'm not so sure about that yet. So I'm going to run around. And when I'm running, I'm jumping. Very, very important. This is crucial to your survival in Fortnite. If you're not running and jumping, you're such an easy target. There's no place for us to really go to, except for up on the hill. Uh, this place is going to be checked soon by people. They're gonna, they're gonna come over here. They're gonna wonder, hmm. Is there, uh, is there still any loot over here? And then they're gonna see there's no loot, but then they're also gonna see me. And also, I kind of have to figure out what the flow of players is doing. A lot of players wanna get to the zone, of course, and they come from the from the top over here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the south. I didn't see many people at the south, but there's still a chance that there are people there. So we're just gonna be migrating while hitting trees. Don't break the damn trees, okay? That should be your rule. In solos, unless you really wanna get into fights, uh, break the trees, but if you don't want to get into fights, don't break the trees. Our loot is good. It's actually really solid. Blue pump and a blue assault rifle. Uh, we just need to get max wood. Okay, I accidentally broke a tree. Just need to get max wood. I'm going to check and see if uh, uh, this place has been looted. If it hasn't, we can loot this place too. And go ahead and win this game. And that's our goal, cops. Our goal is to win this game. Doesn't matter how, but this is, this is the tactic. We got blue, blue, blue. Okay. Oh, this is where you can dance, of course. I Actually, should we just dance here? Why not? Yes! Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. Okay, there's also some loot up here. And that's actually the real reason we came here. Um, we got some more slurps. We have so much damn loot, it's crazy. We're about to hit max wood too. We're just gonna keep on looting, why not? What else is there to do? We can go to the zone, which is super close. Now also, the fact that the zone is over there means that most likely nobody is gonna come here anymore. Uh, simply because the zone is, is somewhere else and you know, when people see the zone somewhere else, a lot of people straight away start moving there. Now we just picked up the ammo. We don't need anything else. Ammo, very, very important, cops. Very damn important. We're gonna get into some fights soon. And in those fights, you always want to make sure you have enough ammo while, while going there. Don't see anything over here in the toilet factory. The flush factory. Hey. Hey. Okay, let's check this out. We got another pot, glad we got that one. You can also say only one potion and only one uh, uh, like health healer, but that's really up to you, however you decide. And uh, whatever you decide you wanna do, everybody's different, you know? Everybody plays a little bit different. Some people like certain weapons, some people hate them, but we're gonna go back to our original spawn location and go from over there. And we haven't, we've only seen one guy who spawned with us, only one guy, and we got, got that one kill, of course. Since then, we haven't seen anybody else, but we've made it all the way to the top 16, okay? The top 16 without doing much. Uh, it, it's pre pretty damn good, pretty damn impressive. You know, you just play a little bit safe. But here is the thing. Playing safe isn't gonna get you good at this game. And to win, you need to be good at this game. So you need to be able to win fights late game. Now there is a big, big chance there's only good people late game. If you don't even know how to win a fight, you're not gonna win late game. So what you need to do is you need to practice. What I what I did when I practiced is I went squads, I played squads and uh, 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 on my own and I just tried to take out as many people as possible to get familiar to the weapons, to get familiar to like, you know, not stressing out in a fight and, and, and other things like that. And, and that's what you wanna start doing too, you know, just play the game a lot. If you wanna win, you need to simply just play it a ton, okay? And then polish up your tactics a little bit. I still haven't seen anybody here because I can play like a, you know, like a pussy cat, but I'm not gonna win anything if I don't know how to shoot guns. So right over here, we're gonna break this. Oh boy, okay, come on. We're gonna break it and build up. I'm most likely never gonna need the brick um, and it's pretty solid for like a little base. Now there are a few spots people could come from and I was actually gonna say that is one spot right over there. And we actually see somebody. 
and we can go for some pop shots you know if he has a mini pot he might use it if uh you know whatever he's stressing out right now okay well he's in there and uh, that's out of the zone so you go ahead and, and and build there i guess oh that's not out of the zone oh that's not out of the zone so what we could do is engage into a fight over there oh boy or we just wait and and let him do his thing we could get sniped from up there but i don't see any threats so what do we do we wait he's trying he's building up it he might have a launch pad yes he does so let's get some hits on him. Come on. And let's go for him. I don't know what his plan was there. But not really a so uh, well thought through plan. He's low on health right now. One shot and he's dead. And he's dead. There you go. Easy peasy, he didn't even shot us a single time. Okay, we have tons of shields. That's not really a good thing. I mean, it, it's re it's pretty good, but we weren't even able to use one. And that's uh, that's that. So now let's go back into our little base. Uh, this is a horrible idea, by the way. When you do something like that, make sure to block your stuff off. Because, I mean, if somebody's gonna come from there... I know nobody's gonna come from there, but just in case, you know... Is he gonna be hiding behind a tree? He's just, this guy's just randomly shooting at things. I mean, that was probably the easiest kill of my life. We're not gonna be looting him. I don't see much loot over there. Uh, I don't think he has anything good. He probably had like a silence pistol he was shooting with. But we got a kill, which is nice. Uh, we're in a good position. There could be somebody up on that tree or um, up on that hill. If somebody's up on that tree, he could snipe us. If somebody's up on that hill, there is somebody up on that hill, he could snipe us too. So we're just going to keep on moving while running around over here. So another thing is if we're standing too close to the wall, we can't turn our camera around like this. So you take a few steps away from the wall. A few steps away from the wall and now you can turn your camera much much better and now you could even turn it all the way to go a little bit higher it's even easier uh, just a little trick if you're looking to, s to poke like around corners or see who's below you if you're standing against the wall it might like mess up like that and uh, that's a little little easy fix a uh, very easy fix so we're just cow tower camping right now uh, uh, simply because the safe zone is just really really in our favor and we have a very good position over here uh, just a spot right behind us isn't that good but that's completely fine i haven't seen anybody here i mean we killed somebody there i don't think anybody's gonna come behind us not many people came from there so pretty much the only threat could come from from this area where we're looking at right now that's a big chance but we gotta keep our ears open we really have to keep our ears open to see if uh, if somebody's gonna come over. Also, I'm talking right now, making it much, much harder for me to, to hear people. Sometimes, oh, look at that meteorite. Sometimes I don't talk and, uh, and, and, and then I could really hear where people are coming from because I got some good headphones. But right now we're simply waiting and improvising as we go. You know, it just takes a lot of practice to win late game. There are five people alive, close quarters, we have a shotgun, a uh, long range, well, medium range, we have an assault rifle, long range, we simply don't engage. And we have tons of heals, so disengaging is, is completely fine. We're just really weak for being, like, headshotted by a sniper right now, or um, if somebody just decides to really, really push us uh, very, very aggressively, we just need to put down a trap, which you could do too. So right over here, oh boy, right over here is a mountain. We got a little mountain over there, which is where I'm gonna go. So let's travel down. When you're traveling down, you can jump down like cliffs. Just make sure you build um, and, uh, and then, you know, you don't take any fall damage. The reason I'm not jumping down right now is because I'm very curious to see if somebody decided to um you know go this way uh, if there is somebody this way then we could just you know take him out he's not expecting it's probably gonna go to the save zone if there's nobody here that's also good then we know nobody is gonna come from here either but our goal right now is to try and get up there but trying to get up there is tough uh, because there is a zone and we need to get all the way up and uh, we don't want anybody to just use our staircase how do you do that well you could destroy your staircase or you could just be super aware of things and not have to worry about that which is something i wouldn't recommend we made it up here but we're not really in the zone so now we need to get into the zone which is a little bit dangerous but we got this somebody decides to shoot at us that's fine oh my god sometimes building sometimes building in this game just doesn't work somebody tries to get on here we have a trap okay we're good we're good so if we fall down we can just use our wood to uh to fix that up 
Uh, we know nobody's there because we left that area. We know people are there because they're shooting over there. We don't have crazy amounts of bullets, so we can't really... Uh, uh, do anything crazy but they're fighting and they're going to be killing each other while fighting against the safe zone so we got two people over there that means we're missing one guy right now it could be literally anywhere except for this area don't think he's over there but we're gonna be winning this cops okay we do we still have no we don't have a jump pad i thought we had a jump pad no somebody used the jump pad against us that was it that's scary okay you almost destroyed our base boy you almost destroyed their base. So these guys, they're still fighting over there. There's another guy right over there. Okay, well, we hit him. I mean, doing damage is always good. Is that, is that, are these still the same two guys? They're most likely gonna have to jump down soon. And then there's one guy over there. Where the hell did he go? Is he coming up? I mean, go ahead. Oh, there he is. He's a fast builder. He's a fast builder, cops. Okay, well, I mean, if you're a fast builder, that most of the time means you're up against a good, uh, strong guy. Uh, we're gonna have to get to the zone. Meanwhile, we're gonna keep on poking this dude. We have plenty of time and we have plenty of materials. Okay, his shields are almost fully down. Okay, he's trying to sneak into the save zone. Damn it, we didn't hit those shots. It's time to move, cops. It's time to move. Gotta make sure we don't get shot at. I mean, we're, we're being shot at, but um, you know what I mean. There's still a sniper up there. And somebody's shooting at us right now. Let's build a nice one by one. Oh boy, okay, we accidentally messed that one up. Build a nice, oh, okay, build a nice one by one. Nice and high. Okay, well, we're being grenaded right now. That's not good. That is definitely not good. So we're just gonna hope that he's gonna run out anytime soon. Probably still thinks we're in here. No, he definitely, he, he, he knows we're still in here. But somebody's flanking him. Okay, that's good. So uh, what do we do? We improvise. Improvise. Build up. Okay, that's one down. Oh no. They just both have to die. They just both have to die. That's all we have to do now. Kill both of them. He's looking at us though. They're both there. They're both there. Is this guy going again? Oh boy, oh boy. We don't have crazy bullets anymore. We're almost in the zone. They're both there. They know they're both there. These guys are good. Uh, I mean, they're not going to win, but uh, it would have been well deserved. Okay, and this is where we win. Come on. Yes! There you go, Cubs! And that is how you win every single game of Fortnite. Play it smart. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah! Woo! Thank you so much for watching, Cubs. Drop a like if you enjoy Fortnite, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Ooh, yeah.